What's up guys, it's Jules. Thanks for coming along for another weekly update of cross-stitching and other things. It has been a particularly crazy, it's always a crazy week, but it's been an even crazier week. So if you want to hear about it, stick around after the cross-stitch update. Otherwise, let's get to the stitch. And so first up, we're going to show you a Boba Fett. Boba Fett is getting some love. Boba Fett is coming into his own here. I have been working on specifically like all of this area here. That's what I've been working on. So it's coming together. It's still kind of, it, even with Pattern Keeper that I'm now using it with, it's still kind of difficult, but I just want to keep, excuse me, I'm gonna keep working on it. Um, my goal is to finish this up in the next couple of months. <laughs> Stop laughing. Um, it really is. And uh, the goal is basically, so if I can finish this, and I can finish it as well, then that justifies for me to begin another cross stitch. The signing of the Constitution. Uh, that is the goal. That it would be cool to actually start that on July 4th. Uh, I would love it if that was if that was the case. Um, and we're not gonna work on it terribly heavy. It's just I could get a lot of stitching done on that. It's a very it's a lot easier cross stitch than uh, some of these other ones, because if you I, like, just looking at the first page for me, like there's not a lot of color changes. So there's just a lot of stitching kind of the same color. So I could make some serious progress with it. I will have an update on the um, procurement of the materials that I need for that project after this update. Next up is, I'm having a hard time remembering if I actually worked on Honeybee Portrait or if I started working on it and realized I needed a color and I stopped, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. And I left it in the hoop um, because we're really not that far away from finishing this page. Um, that's a whole page there. So not that far away, but I think I'm missing a few colors. So there's my, there's my honeybee portrait. Oh, man, I want to get, I want to work on that. I want to get some progress made. Um, I had to cover the birds up because I tried to shoot this video in the beginning and then I realized the birds were being really, really loud. So it's difficult to do a video right next to the birds, but we muddle through somehow. Next up is Dachshund and Dachshund saw a lot of loving this week with a lot of purple. A lot of purple got added. Probably did about three or 400 stitches, did all this area over here. So um, the ear, the ear for the Dachshund up top there is right here and then I've got a bunch more purple and then there's some white is the next page so we're gonna go down on this project instead of the last time I tried starting it I went across nope we're going down on this one I want to actually see what it looks like on this fabric so that would be cool so as a just as a little thing I have a feeling that yet again I started this probably way too close to the top but it's all right a good framer will fix that mistake for you. Um, rainy Waterloo Place. Rainy Waterloo is getting closer and closer to this page finish. As you can see, I think, I think that the page finish is about right here. Wait, is that a stitch right there? I think that's a stitch right there. Maybe it stops at this semi red line right here. Maybe. But we're getting closer and closer and closer. And here. And the funny thing is, is that there's a lot of lighter stuff that's going in down here. And because of the lighter stuff, there's some colors that I haven't used. Wow, that went kind of yellow for a second there. Um, there's a lot of colors that I haven't been using on this project that I've kind of got to dig out now and find. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how that looks, but um, that's where we're at with that. And then a bit more on Reaper. I'm going to leave Reaper in the, um, in its little, uh, hoop. Sorry, I can't even think. Um, and I did, I did some progress. I didn't get a lot done. I mostly just kind of came down here a little bit up there. I, uh, tried him out, tried stitching this one on a stitch with me, and I just didn't get very much stitching done. It's, it goes slower when you're doing 18 count for, not a stitch with me, but a, a Twitch, um, a Twitch, uh, um, a Twitch stream. So that's pretty much the only pieces that I worked on this week, but I doubled up working on like Boba Fett and Dachshund. 
I worked on them longer than I normally would to make more progress on them. Uh, so the other thing is that if you see behind me that I've added some more pieces, I think I mentioned, I might have mentioned this last week, but my memory is really short right now, so I can't remember. But I added like Stormtrooper back in because I want to get back going with that one. And of course I added Boba in, and then I added the Bears one back in because the Bears are making moves. I can get behind now, so I'm all... I'm all good with those guys so we'll eventually we'll work them into the rotation but the focus is um, I really want to get some finishes this summer I think that uh, it will help the morale of the, all the dogs and the animals in this house no it won't but it <laughs> they don't care um, but no if uh, if I could just get some finishes that would be great I have um, you know, it is it as well is so close to being done. Uh, in Boba Fett, it doesn't. There's not a lot to do with Boba Fett. I just have to just do the stitching. But there's so much less to do. Um, there's so much less to do. There's so little to do, and I just need this one color. And I spent the week, um, not the week. I spent a couple of days looking for this gentle arts thread that everybody was sold out of. And I finally uh, reached out to, uh, I reached out to, and I should have done this in the first place, but I reached out to Christine in a stitching shop. Now she's been working on getting the fabric for Stunning of the Constitution, and I have some false in order with her. And so I, uh, uh, I emailed her on Sunday, and I just said, by any chance, do you have this color gentle arts thread? Because I need it. And she's like, I have one left, and it's, and it's for me. And so I was like, so she and she got in an order of fabric. So she was taking the weekend and she was cutting everybody's fabric up and she was mailing them off and it was all good. And my my package got picked up on Monday and it said, you know what? It's gonna get to you tomorrow because you only live like a half an hour away. I didn't go get it because, you know, social distancing. It's social distancing and I'm busy and I'm like. Just mail it to me. It's just so much easier just to mail it to me. And so um, so it should have gotten to me today, right? Right? Because it's, it's only like a half an hour away. So it's been two days, and I don't know where it's at. I have a tracking number for it. And it was scanned in at around noon on Monday when it got picked up. And then today it got a an entry that said it's on its way to the next processing facility or distribution facility or whatever. And I'm just thinking... I've heard some horror stories about you guys having issues with when you order stuff here in Colorado and you order something that literally could probably take you 20 minutes to go pick it up, but you but they drop it in the mail or whatever, and then it's like a week later it gets to you. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know how I feel about the post office. I love, I love the history. I love the heritage. I love the people who work there. I don't think it's their fault. Um, for the most part, but I have had a lot of issues with the post office. Um, and part of me is just like, it's almost like, you know, did they just, they just, you know, they were like, oh, this, oh, oh, this is, this is going to Jules? <laughs> Wait, that, that Jules? It's going to that Jules? <laughs> you know, so, you know, it might be something like that. No, I'm just kidding. It's probably not, but... <laughs> More adventures with the post office, so it's all good. Now the dogs are upset because I threw something. Speaking of upset, Jelly has been uh, a little nuts lately, and we're trying to figure out why she's been so nervous. I'm actually putting her on some uh, anti-anxiety medication. I'm not really sure why. Um, I'm not sure why she's why she's so upset, but she's she's been very destructive in the last week, so it's time to start kind of chilling her out a little bit. But... Uh, but stitching wise, so I'm waiting on the package. Oh, I got some floss from Canada. So I have to go see what kind of floss I got. It came in a package. I haven't opened it yet. I bought it off a store on Etsy, store on Etsy. Um, and uh, so I'll have to see what I got to see if I'm able to um, get any further along with, I think Old World Map 2 is what was waiting for the floss. So we'll see. Um, and I'll see when I get my package from, from like across the street, <laughs> across the city. Um, we'll see. But, uh, so other news, uh, let's still talk about one more piece of stitching news. So if you guys, uh, haven't had a chance to check out yet, uh, the Twitch stream that I do, I've switched up my hours now. 
where um, I am live on Twitch, streaming, stitching and streaming and talking and just relaxing and having a good time with folks. Uh, there's a nice little group of people who've been showing up to almost every stream. Um, some people come one stream and then some people come another, but it's a nice little group. It's a very friendly, welcoming group. We like to talk about stitching and just whatever else that may cross our minds. And it's just a chill time. It's just a very relaxing time, and I've really enjoyed it. Now, I've had to cut back my hours because I was enjoying it, but the problem was I was never seeing my husband. And it was I was doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday night and Sunday morning, and that's just too much. So I've removed Wednesday night from the equation because it's like Wednesday at like 6 o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock right now. So... Uh, Wednesdays are just a little too busy for me. So uh, we're going to do Monday nights from about 7 to 9. Friday nights, if I can get on earlier, like at 6.30, I will. Um, but otherwise, like roughly about 7 o'clock and maybe to 9, maybe to 10, we'll see how it's going. And then Sunday mornings, I kind of want that to be a longer stream, um, you know, probably three hours. I, gotta, I think I need to sign on a little earlier for that. But... Um, we'll figure it out, but it's just fun. We just enjoy ourselves and we're just hanging out and it's like a live stitch with me. So if you guys enjoy the stitch with me, then please feel free to hop on and, um, just chat. It's, it doesn't cost anything. It's, um, you just gotta, uh, create a Twitch account and, um, that's all you gotta do. So what else is going on? Sad news. Well, we've had some crazy news this past week. Uh, first up, let's just, hamster died. Uh, he died yesterday. Actually, I found him last night. Um, I'm not sure when. It was when I went to bed. So he wasn't there earlier in the evening. But he must have come down sometime when I was up and down doing different things. And, um, yeah, he just, just she, she uh, just died. And so she had water. She had food. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure what exactly happened, but... Um, I'm not planning on getting replacement. This was not an intended pet for me. Uh, we were supposed to have the one at work, and the one at work is doing fantastic. So the hamster stuff is actually going to go away, and we're going to use the base of this stand, which my husband built, and it's a fantastic base. We're going to use this base as a base for a um, new aquarium eventually for Groot, um, Groot the axolotl, because we're going to do a, a vertical tank for him so he can swim up. They love to swim up. And so I'm um, going to give him more room to swim up and enjoy himself. Um, so, yeah, at some point that will happen. So we'll move that down. But, yeah, I don't know what happened. But it was a, kind of ironic because we had the um, – and I didn't, I didn't really mess with her too much. I fed her and I gave her water. And just the other day I was feeding her, like, a bunch of seeds and stuff. And um, so, yeah, really not sure what happened to her. But um, I don't know. Uh, the, her sister – has been, well, she thrives, she gets attention, she, she gets time in the, the little rollerball thing, and yesterday, uh, at work in the afternoon, we put her in the rollerball, just to, you know, she acted like she wanted to get out and run around, and we put her in the rollerball, and uh, she rolled around the hospital, like literally did laps around the hospital, which I'd never seen her do, and uh, we lost her for a good 10 minutes. There was a point where we were like, have you heard the gerbil lately? Like, we didn't know where she was, and three of us fanned out and went to look for her. And it's not a very big place, but we couldn't find her. And it took about, uh, maybe it was five minutes, but three people for five minutes looking for this for this rolling hamster. So we found her. She went back into her, her, her cage and whatnot. But, yeah, it was very, it was very weird. But um, stove caught on fire today. That was fun. Um, we must have had some... A little bit of grease or something from some burgers that we had fixed over the weekend and hadn't cleaned properly. Um, we were steaming vegetables and the uh, um, yeah caught on fire. I was like, I've never seen that. I've never seen it do that before. So it was just for like 15 seconds, no big deal. But um, it was pretty 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 crazy. And then the washer stopped working. Uh, the lid switch is not functioning. It functions if we wedge a, a screwdriver in there. That's not entirely safe, but um, for right now, that's what we're doing uh, until we can uh, replace the switch assembly. Um, pretty sure that's all we need to do. But that's kind of a decent-sized job, and it's a very small room, so at some point, I'll get around to doing it. Um, the garden is going great, and um, man, I still don't have... I need to do just a plain garden update, because I want to upload this video directly to YouTube and not edit in anything else. So... 
but the garden is going like gangbusters. Uh, hubby planted potatoes this last week. We're planting potatoes in coffee sacks, coffee bean sacks from Brazil. You can buy those off of Amazon and they come and oh, they smell really good. And, uh, and I don't even drink coffee, but they smell really good. And uh, they're just, they're great source of, um, you put soil in, some other different things. My husband took care of all that. And then um, we had some, some potatoes that we, we let, we cut up and we let them kind of, what do they call them, harden up or whatever they call that. And, um, and planted them. And then basically we're just going to leave them until the end of summer and then open up the bags and see how many potatoes we get. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, but a lot of things got planted. There's like squash and eggplant and all different kinds of things. So we've been eating salads like crazy. I think I've had three salads this week. Um, we've had two meals in the last Sunday night and tonight, Wednesday night, or was it Monday night? Sunday night, I think. Um, we got big, huge salads out of the, the hydro tower, the hydroponics tower. Um, but it's, it's going like gangbusters and, uh, just keep, Keep eating from it, keep eating from it. I tell you, and then we also went and got like a bunch of other veggies because we were going to do stir fry and then we kind of canceled out doing stir fry. So then we started steaming them. And um, so we've had steamed carrots, steamed broccoli. I'm telling you, I think my body is in shock in the last like week or two because all of a sudden I'm getting all these healthy vegetables and my body is like, like what is going on? So... Anyway, it's it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So if I could just, um, yeah, exercise a little bit. I need to exercise. Don't we all? Uh, that's pretty much, let's see. Stove caught on fire. Hamster died. Washer broke. Jelly's going insane. Was there a fifth thing? Not right now. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it that I can think of. I will, um, I will hope that my fabric comes in here soon. Uh, oh, so anyway, so we're going to start. So my goal with Boba Fett, going back to stitching, my goal with Boba Fett is to finish it on, finish it before July 4th, because if I can finish it before July 4th, then that allows me to start. Wow. That means I need like six weeks. That might not happen. That's why you guys were laughing before, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, my, I want to do a live stream on July 4th where I actually start signing of the Constitution. Um, that would be cool. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think so. Main Stitcher and I are going to start it on uh, July 4th. So it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. <sighs> I'm going to spend the rest of the night stitching. Oh, yeah. Now nah, I'll tell you guys about that now. Um, but uh, it's nothing. It's just I got back into video games a little bit. And that's why my stitching fell off uh, the last couple of days. But I needed um, I needed some excitement, some excitement stuff. But anyway, so uh, for those of you um, that I'll see in the Twitch stream, I'll put a link down below to where you can find me. And uh, if you want, also, there's a lot of videos that are already on that page that are uh, live Stitch With Me. So if you like the Stitch With Me's and you haven't had a chance to swing by the Twitch stream, you can actually watch all my prior videos from the last couple weeks and two hour, three hour Stitch With Me's. Now I don't stitch all the time during those because a lot of times we're talking, but it's usually pretty funny. And so, um, yeah, like the time that I split my pants, I forgot about that, I split my pants last week. Did I tell you guys about that? Where I was uh, going out to work, or I was, I was leaving for work, and I went to pick something up off the ground, and my pants just ripped um, right down the backside, and uh, not on the, not in the middle of the seam, like right over a butt cheek, and uh, ripped really good. And then I came in, and I changed clothes, and I put them over to the side, thinking that I was throwing them away. And then um, a couple of days later, I washed clothes, and didn't realize that I had washed the scrubs that were torn and then put the torn scrubs on without realizing they were torn and actually went to work with a big huge hole in the seat of my pants and uh yeah that was quite funny and then I I had to wear a uh, a big blanket around me um for uh about an hour until my hubby could bring me a change of uh pants and so that was funny that was funny so uh anyway 
hello to my fam out there. How y'all doing? Thank you for watching. Always love it when you guys watch. Um, you guys are the best, everybody. And uh, yeah, I need to upload this and just kind of relax the rest of the night and and chill and stitch. Let's work on some Boba Fett. Let's get Boba Fett done. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen, but one can hope. All right. Happy stitching. I'll see you guys later. And if not later, well, whenever. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.